Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm showing you how to get a live split, um, which is a speedrun timer. Uh, very, very easy. Literally, will take you about three minutes to do. So let's just get into it. Now, for this, you can have. Um, if you're going to record, I re recommend OBS, which is what I use to record. But if you don't have it, just go in the link in the description. Then you just want to paste that in, and then can download any of these for Windows, Mac, and then Linux, I believe. Um, yeah, but any um, thing will work. Once you've installed that, you want to just install all of it, and you'll be greeted with this. Now, you won't have this source, but if you're going to do a certain game, you want to do a game capture while it's open. So, say in Steam, if I had Among Us open, um, I would have it on full screen, and then here, new source, game capture, game capture, capture specific window, I would do, and then window, and then it'll come up here. Once you've done that, you want to go to the other link in the description, which is live split. You want to copy that and paste that in, and then it'll bring you to this screen. You want to click download. Live split 1.8.21. You want to download that. Um, it will download as a zip file. And then it will be. I know this looks kind of, kind of scary because there's so many files. You want to just look for live split.exe. Double click on that for it to load. And then you'll see this lovely timer here. Now you can make this bigger, smaller, longer, etc. I'm just going to make it that big. <coughs> and then you can edit it. Edit splits. Your game name. So I'm speedrunning Cuphead. And then the run category. I'm not sure what that is. And then OK. It'll come up. And then you'll have this. Um, and then to edit the Keybinds settings, you will be brought with this. Now you can customize this to your heart's content, um, whatever you want, but make sure you have global hotkeys enabled. Now, what this does is say if I'm in Cuphead and I press numpad one, it'll start it while I'm playing the game. Um, so when you're in another window, it'll detect that and then start the timer. Uh, you can customize this as much as you want, and then once you're done with that, you want to just click OK. And then if you click, um, what do I have it set as? So say I want to have this as the equals and then reset as minus. There we go. And then it will begin. Stop it, skip. You can do all of that. You can also edit the layout. So you want the title to be, or the background color to be a different color, like red. You can have it the background where it shows the cuphead, different colors. The splits can change those. You can just set this out. So say I want a red background. There we go. Red background looks very, very nice and clean. You can also have it horizontal as well. So you can have it across the screen. But I like um, vertical is much, much better in my opinion. But yeah, once you've set that all out, you want to go back into your OBS, which you just downloaded. And then you just want to um, go into the correct scene. You just want to click Add. And then Window Capture. And then you can name it Live Split. Or anything you want, really, doesn't really matter. Window live splits, and then it'll come up here, and then you want to just put that over there, and then you can move it on the screen. So you want it in the corner, make it a bit smaller, and you can have that ill um, change depending on here, and then you just want to load up your game. So say I want to speed run. I'm getting over it. Good game. I will open up that game, and then the game you'll already have on OBS, it'll be set up, fine. Um, 
you can see is here on the screen. Um, it'll be deactivated. Um, if you want to have it over, so you can actually see it, um, you want to have, I think, oh no wait, it does work like this. But yeah, <clears throat> it should work completely fine after that. Um, but yeah, that has been how to install a speedrun timer for any game. If this did help, um, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also, if you have any problems, just put it in the comments and I'll try to help you out. I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.